That's Patrick's theme song. It right? is my theme song. <laughs> Patrick, it's great to have you here at SaltConf. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having us. Uh, it's a beautiful place. It's uh, been an awesome assembly so far. Patrick has, uh, Patrick has been a customer of SaltStack uh, for a time now, and I, I wanted to invite him to stage today so that he could, he could share with all of you his experiences. Um, but before we get started, Patrick, why don't you take a minute and share with us a little bit of a background on Tyson Foods uh, for those that don't grocery shop. <laughs> right. So Tyson Foods, obviously, uh, we're up in the food industry. We are John Tyson, the founder of Tyson Foods, as you can see on the screen here. Um, started in the 1930s uh, selling fruits and vegetables out of his truck and realized that that wasn't going to survive through the winter and had to find something else that would provide for his family and, uh, and moved into chickens and started delivering chickens around the central U.S., Arkansas, Nebraska, all the way up into Illinois. And that was the foundations of what Tyson Food has now become, which is now we have 115,000 team members uh, worldwide. Um, you know, $37 billion of ec um, annually. Uh, so it's, it's an amazing company to see that riding through all the depressions and changes in, in technology. That's amazing. And so it's interesting. Um, tell us about your background then as well. Give us a sense for sort of what you've done in your career and how you ended up at Tyson. I have done everything imaginable. I've worn many hats uh, getting to this point. Um, I've been in the open source Linux community now for the past 20 some years, uh, as the gray can tell. Uh, and when I came to Tyson Foods, I was hired there to help bring in and stabilize our Linux, our uh, uh, growing Linux infrastructure and, and with a bent toward trying to help automate uh, what we're going to. Um, Tyson has the, one of the founding um, principles of Tyson Foods is to always look to be creative, to find more faster and more efficient ways to do things. And that has been that way since 1930s all the way to today. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I mean, for a company that was founded in 1935, um, talk to us about sort of the technology journey that Tyson as a company has gone through. Well, as you can imagine, you know, trying to track all, where all the animals are, uh, all the way through to the finished product that's in the grocery shelf, then keeping track of uh, what's on, make sure you have uh, Tyson products. Uh, on the shelf, uh, and so it takes a lot of technology to drive all that, to manage where that, where all that is at. Uh, and and Tyson has always tried to stay on that cutting edge of, of where we're going to, to be competitive. That's amazing. So um, you know, I have to imagine, with such a storied history since 1935, Tyson's gone through several different technology journeys. You know, we've talked about this in the past. Talk about, uh, if you would you know, the, the problems that your company faced, uh, you know, that required such a, you know, an automation solution. So when I first hired on to Tyson Foods, I had just uh, successfully acquired Hillshire Brands Foods, uh, which you know, includes a lot of big name brands like Jimmy Dean Sausage, uh, some of the Sara Lee products, um, things you might not have ever realized were part of Tyson um, that are under the, the new Tyson corporate logo of a lot of portfolio brands. and. That bringing, you know, uh, Tyson, bringing Hillshire into Tyson, and, and um, we had a lot of challenges to overcome. And part of that, we have a very small IT infrastructure, actually, to manage all of this. And we had to find ways to, to efficiently bring in new acquisitions. And as we continue to do more acquisitions, uh, we just recently acquired Advanced Pierre Foods, which is a lot of your convenience store protein um, brands. We have to find ways to, to solve those um, challenges of automating, bringing in new, new customer or new acquisitions into the Tyson uh, umbrella of IT infrastructure. And we couldn't continue to just do it the, you know, I keep teasing about the 1980s methodologies. It just wasn't going to scale. Um, when you continue to bring on more and more of uh, uh, new companies and bringing them into our in, uh, Tyson umbrella. Could you elaborate on that for us and talk a little bit more about sort of what that process looked like before and, and, uh, and how, that, how that plays today? Okay, now, no laughing. We still use corn shell scripts 
okay? No laughing. So, right, but we, we had a you know, very stable um, uh, history of AIX as a major uh, platform partner for us. And uh, it, uh, you know, over the last 20, 30 years, we've, you know, generated a lot of processes using shell scripts, um, and, you know, all based in, you know, AIX, uh, corn shell. Um, but at the same time, you know, as we started dipping our toe into the Linux world and realizing that that doesn't equate the same as it did in the AIX world. And we had to find a way then to, um, and as I talked about in my breakout, you guys can come to later, uh, how fast Hisense has grown in the Linux environment alone, we had to find ways that we could both teams, the AIX team and the Linux team, could manage our infrastructure um, without uh, adding a lot of extra personnel. Yeah. And as we continue to grow faster and faster um, with, we're a big SAP shop and therefore we have to, uh, there's a lot of growing and, and transitioning as we bring on new companies and they have their own inf SAP infrastructure. We have to be able to bring them into our um, umbrella as well. And it, it, it's a lot of challenges. Right. So you, you've been with Tyson now for how long? February will be three years. Okay, so three years. What, uh, what was your experience with SaltStack before Tyson, and, or, or was Tyson actually your first introduction? Tyson was actually my first introduction. So I knew about Salt, I, as, along with all the other, you know, being in the Linux world for, you know, as long as I have, all the optional configuration management platforms. Uh, but when it came to Tyson, the, the challenge was not, the lens we had to look through was not uh, configuration management. It was automation and orchestration. That was the lens by which we had to judge everything through. And you, SaltStack was the only product that really shined under that, uh, inside that lens for us. Great. So, um, you know, as you think about SaltStack Enterprise, um, you know, you, your team went through this journey where, you know, for you in particular, you came to Tyson, you had other tools uh, that were in place. You went through a process by which you then adopted and integrated SaltStack into your environment. Can you talk about SaltStack Enterprise then? And, uh, it, you know, that's the tool set that you're using and how that's actually made a difference in your environment from an automation standpoint. Well, yeah, like you mentioned, the, um, you know, we're, we're kind of split uh, evenly between our Linux and AIX environment. Um, and we quickly wanted to make sure that both platforms were, could be managed similar, similarly. I can't say that word today. Um, and, you know, corn shell scripts from LNAX don't, you know, correlate well to Linux and to the Linux land. Um, and so we had to find something that we could, both teams could work under. And SaltStack Enterprise giving us the AIX, AIX platform did that for us. Um, and then now, um, uh, when we first became a Salt uh, customer, we, Enterprise didn't have the UI that we have today. Um, and so we're starting to expand upon what we can do with the UI, uh, with the role-based access controls and giving more teams now. Is, it's not just, we're realizing it's not just a um, administration tool uh, for, the, uh, for the operating system, but for application teams as well. And so they're starting to come on board um, and we're learning that what they can do uh, with SaltStack. It's, it's been in a fascinating, um, very fast paced, uh, change in the last year That's great. Uh, for Tyson. Well, Patrick, we appreciate you coming uh, to SaltConf again and uh, participating up here on the keynote stage with me and it's, it's always a great uh, conversation for us to have. So It's been a blast. I look forward to the next two days. We, um, we invite all of you to, uh, to listen to Patrick. Patrick will have a keynote uh, uh, later on today at 1045 right after the keynote session and so we invite you to go and listen to more of the stories about how Patrick and Tyson specifically are using SaltStack within their enterprise environments to accomplish greater automation tasks. So thank you, Patrick. Thank you, sir.